friends. Hi guys. I am working, well, let me show you. I'm working on a little recipe that I make every year um, for spring. And I had a little hankering, so I thought I would make it with you guys. So let me tip you down here really quick. Uh, my name is Tammy Neff, and you're on my page called Tammy Loves, where I bring you everything I love. And sometimes it's home decor. Sometimes we might be out on a painting job or we might be doing a wedding or um, like today I'm cooking and gonna do a little chocolate tour. So anyway, um, let me flip you down here. You just never know what you're gonna get when you're with me. <laughs> so um, let's see, let me bring them down a little bit more. So today I'm making crispy Easter nests and I've made these before in the past with you guys, but I know we have a lot of new people on here. So uh, maybe some of you haven't seen this uh, recipe. So um, if you get this size jar of marshmallow fluff, jet puffed marshmallow cream or whatever brand you like, um, you need half, you need seven ounces. Okay, so that, finish that. And then I just finished up my peanut butter. So there might be enough in there for one sandwich, maybe. So um, you need a quarter of cup of peanut butter. Now I prefer Jiffy, um, only because my mom always used Jiffy. Doesn't it mess you up when you go and visit your mom and she like changed <laughs> a recipe or she changed something? It always messes me up, but I think as far as I know, she's still a Jiffy girl as well as I am. Um, okay, so a quarter of a cup of peanut butter, uh, seven ounces of um, marshmallow fluff. Okay, and then you need these um, chow mein noodles. They're chow mein noodles, okay, a half a bag. So this is, um, let's see here, how many ounces is this? Where does it say, I'm not seeing it. Well, I don't see it, but you get the idea of the size of the bag here. I'll put my, put my hands there on it, and it's still a pretty big bag, okay? So use a half a bag, all right? So that goes in, and then it is, let me see how many, I think it's one cup, yeah, one cup of chopped M&Ms. So um, what I do is I double baggie my m and so I put a baggie, a sandwich bag in a sandwich bag, and then I take my hammer and I pound on it. Not too hard, but trying to crush them. Okay, so I did that so it wasn't so noisy on here. So, and this is not a typical cooking show, you guys. So <laughs> you like the bowl? Kelly, I got this. So you guys watch Sam's Club. I got this. Let me show you what this is. I got this at Sam's Club last year. There's a whole set of them like this and they all stack and then the lids, they all have lids too. So they're great for like potato salad or whatever you, you know, leftovers and for cooking. And what I love about them even more is that they have the little rubber on the bottom. And I want to say they were like, it was like 20 bucks or 25, but it was cheap. To me, I thought it was inexpensive for all of those bowls. So be watching Sam's Club. I know they had them um, last year in the fall. And then I had bought mine in the spring and my mom liked them so much and they had sold out. So she found them again in the fall. So I don't know if they'll have them again. Oops, oh, just, I don't know if they'll have them again this year or not, but um, worth a shot if they do. They're really nice. They stack so well. And I love, like I usually use the metal ones, but the metal ones really scratch up your countertop and leave marks and this does not. So, okay, all you do then is incorporate your crushed M&Ms, your regular crushed M&Ms, uh, one cup in with the chow mein noodles, the peanut butter, and the marshmallow fluff, okay? And then the chow mein noodles sort of give the look of the branches or the sticks and stuff that the birds might use. And so it's just edible little Easter nests that the kids love. My kids always used to make this with me every year. And we would make, oh gosh, we would probably do um, two batches. Um, well, we always did two batches for sure. This is one batch. We always made a couple of batches, but I wanna say sometimes we did that <laughs> more than that even. <laughs> we always, because we, we would all get in there with our hands and then it's all stuck to your hands and you're just, it's just a mess, but it's a fun mess, right? It's one of those fun messes and then it takes you an hour to lick it all off because it's so sticky and gooey. <laughs> so it was always a fun project with my kids and I'm thinking um, someday with grandkids <laughs> and hopefully you guys have some little ones that you might be able to make this with as well. So uh, then what I do 
is I pull out uh, just a piece of wax paper. You don't get very many um, out of this. That's why we usually double them. And I'm sure you can make them smaller than I do. But um, anyway, so then all you do is you form your little nests um, like that, right like that on the, on the um, paper. And then they're very, like if you would pick this up to eat it now, it just wants to fall apart, see? But if you let it sit, it does harden up enough that where you can pick it up and it's not gonna fall apart. Like it doesn't stay this um, uh, tacky. It, it definitely um, gets harder, drier. Um, I usually make them in the later, like after school we would make them and then in the morning course we would nibble on them even though they're gooey they're delicious but they are better after they sit a little bit to where you can actually pick them up like a cookie and then you dust the bottom if you like I always you know the presentation is everything for me so uh, I usually would take them in uh, like on a pretty tray or something and put Easter grass and the way to keep them from sticking is you would in the morning or whenever you're going to do it dust the bottom i just sprinkle some powdered sugar down and then you tap it in the powdered sugar and that coats it so it doesn't stick to whatever you're going to do i'm going to put mine on an antique cutting board that of course i've cleaned um and i've got a little uh, spring scene what i'm wanting to do is make another picture for the top of my page here that you're on so that it looks springy and happy so i have a a little display over there waiting and I want to make a couple of signs for it but that's my purpose for making these is for my picture <laughs> so anyway I won't make all of these with you guys because you you get the idea um, but you just press them in my kids would probably not touch these with a 10-foot pole now they're both so healthy eaters <laughs> I wish I could catch that healthy eating bug I sure do I would love to have it but I don't so um, then you add three peanut, oops, we want different colors, three peanut M&Ms to the tops. And those are the little eggs in your nests. So there you go. And that is all there is to it. And you just let them set up and um, then you can enjoy them. Whoops, I got the same color. What different color? Oops, I got the same color again for Pete's sake. Let me get a green one here. There you go. The hardest part staying out of the M&Ms. <laughs> so anyway, there is a crispy Easter nest. Let me zoom in here and let you guys see it up close. So that's what it looks like. Aren't they springy and fun? I think they're so pretty. So anyway, let me wash my hands. We'll set this aside. I'll finish this later, but I wanna do a little chalk couture project. As we'll see my hand didn't get too bad it's not too bad and they say to butter your fingers like if you use butter um, it won't be as sticky but I never you know why add that right you don't need to add that so um, I I have in the past I probably did last year for the video just because that's what the recipe says but you know we don't always do everything that the recipes say to do right you know after I've done them so many years and it, and it is fun to have all that junk on your hands. And if you're going to lick it off, you don't want the butter. <laughs> Although my little brother was always a big butter head. He, would, he could eat a whole stick of butter just standing there as a kid. We always had to watch him so that he wouldn't eat the butter. <laughs> so he would kill me for saying that. So, okay, here we go. So now what I want to do. So, oh, oh, I, uh, I hate to do this. So if you look uh, over there, there you go. There's my table. And I have, I have a scarf um, that, I, that I always wear. Let me just tell you guys this. This is another little tip for you. Let's just, let's just step out of the um, plan here a little bit. So I have this scarf. And see how uh, um, I've wrinkled it? I've kind of wrinkled it up and made it pretty. You know, a typical table runner won't do that. It just goes straight across. And I find them kind of boring. They're just you know, a table runner, I kind of like them to have a little texture and a little movement to them. So oftentimes when I'm decorating someone's house, I will ask them if they have doilies or scarves, um, things that can move like that. So um, that's a little tip. Anyway, so then I painted these eggs. These were from last year. We did these online. Um, 
I can show you again if you're interested, but they were super easy to do. And so I thought I would make a couple of chalk couture signs to put here um, for this backdrop and then my little um, cookies or whatever you wanna call them, my little treats. And then that would be a cute picture for the top of my page. So that's where we're going. That's what we're doing next is gonna make a couple of signs. So um, the Chalk Couture has the new sign. It is the Cottontail Farms. I love this. It's brand new for spring. Um, if you guys are interested in checking it out, um, message me and I will give you the link. You can go directly online. You don't have to um, um, order, you know, order from me and then ship it. It ships directly to you. You just go to my website. So let me put you down here so you guys can see what I'm looking at here. So this is another Chakotour sign. It is um, the pedestal and base, and it's got a little screw back here that loosens so you see it comes through so it tightens so you can make your signs go this way or this way however however you want your signs to go um you know truck couture has like you can sign up and get 40 percent off like it's it's an amazing company if you're interested at all join my little group it's called tammy loves chalk i have uh one two three four four other projects laid out that I'm gonna do over in the Tammy Loves Chalk page here today. Um, I, I won't do it all on this page. So these are the two signs. This is the small palette sign. Um, there's You could do it on the front or the back, whichever way you want. And so let me take my scissors. They're actually, I don't know that they're official scissors. Scissors there, Chalk Couture came out with their transfer cutters. Um, and so when it comes, it comes in this big sheet and then you just snip it down to whatever, you know, whatever ones you want to cut out, which I am going to be using for sure the bunny because I think and love him. And I'm going to use this uh, Cottontail Farms wording because I love it too. I think it's adorable. And of course the established because... Wow, I just love it too. <laughs> this is all about what I love, right? So I'm just sharing with you what I'm in love with. So that's leaving me with carrots and some flowers. I don't know that I'll have room for them. I like them just as well, but I'm just not sure I'm gonna have room. So we'll see. Um, so I'm gonna put the bunny on the big sign and then I'm gonna put the Cottontail Farms to where I can sit it right in front. So it's gonna be just like that. Um, it's upside down for you and I don't, I don't need to do that. I don't need to be able to read it like I want you guys to be able to see it. So there's that. Now I have gone ahead and pulled my colors yesterday. Um, I pulled out my colors and you know you just typically I would just do this in white and then I would just do this in black which is what I should do. Um, and this surface, this chalk board surface is washable so you can actually wash this off and change it if you want um, after Easter I can take this off and I can put I can put a 4th of July on here or whatever I want and these transfers are reusable as well um, so but I think I'm gonna go with um, a more realistic like a I'm I really I was kind of thinking this creamy color but I'm not sure the creamy color will show up on here so I think I'm going for a more um, I don't know, should I just do white and black? I always do everything white and black, so that's why I hate to. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna try it in color. If I don't like it, I can wash it off and I'll just make them in black. But I think I think the reason I don't wanna do it is because when I look at that little setup that I just showed you guys, the white, I have nothing white and black over there. So that's why I don't wanna do white and black. The other thing just to say is if you would happen to order the small or large palette, it's in wood and so you'll stain. Um, you have a chance of staining the wood and so it may not be wipe offable and, and changeable. Um, you could put some wax on it and try to make a barrier or what you could do is when you wanna change it, wash your paste off and then paint it and then you could change it up that way. So there you go, a quick little lesson I didn't mean to get into, but. All right, so first thing you do is you pull the backing off. Now typically you would write the word back. Well, I'm just gonna do it. You write the word back on the back. Um, 
so that you never put them on on the wrong side because there's a dull side and then it's sticking to the shiny side. I've done this for so many years that I know it goes on the shiny side, but just in case I'm in a hurry and forget. Um, sign is right side up. So let me turn around here for you guys to see. So I'm gonna put my little bunny down. I was hoping it would take me longer to make the snacks than to do the bunny. I usually do these things over on my group page. Tammy Loves Chalk, and it's T-A-M-I, in case you wanna go there and see what else I'm gonna be working on. Um, let me see, I gotta get him straight. It's amazing, I always say this, but it always, it's always fascinating to me. I remember when I first started doing this, working with this stuff that you can actually wash these and use them again and again, and even though they've been wet. Um, oh man, I need to just throw it down and go with it. This is, I'm being too particular. Okay, it's just a bunny and it's just temporary for this holiday, so stop. Put her down and be done. There. She might not be perfect, but it does not matter. I'm making a big deal out of nothing. Okay, so I'm just gonna press him down here so that all of the air bubbles are out. And then I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna grab a couple of squeegees here. Sure, need stirred up. That should be good. These little ones—they don't even make these anymore. These are from when I very first started two years ago. And last time, yeah, last time I checked, they were good and they're still good. So I, I still have a bunch of the little ones. I don't do this every day anymore. <laughs> I used to do it all the time. If you guys have been with me for a long time, know that. I don't do it so much. Um, okay, so I do know for sure that I want a little bit of green down here. So I'm just going to, there, this is silk screen, so it, it's just gonna go wherever the holes are. So you see the turquoise, that's the silk screen, and then the what you see that's black is the holes. And that's where the color is gonna go through, is just through those holes. So I just want that little bit of green down there like he's sitting in some grass. That'll be uh, my main pop of color. And then I'm gonna do, I think I wanna do a mix of this uh, beige almond color cream. I don't even know what they call it. Um, I always tell people there's people that do this for a living. I'm not that person. I do it for crafty fun. <laughs> So I might not be the best person to show you all this, but um, but I can. Oh shoot! Just like my dog used to bark, my daughters always call me when the when I'm doing a video. And that was Abby calling. So I think she's headed home from Minnesota. You guys see me post about my daughter a lot. Um, she's models out of California and travels all over. So, okay, I'm gonna go with my finger because I kind of want him swirly. I don't want them all the same color. So we'll see how this turns out. Like I said, if I don't like it, I can wipe it off. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so let's get down in here where it already was. I'm afraid my green grass is gonna start drying. That's the other thing with this. You gotta move a little bit quickly because It'll start drying in those holes, and some of it did. Yep, it did. I waited too long, so, oh, well, that's fine. Okay, I can put the grass on after I wash it. So, let me scrape some of this off because I have a lot on here. I'll just stick it back in this brown, even though it's going to contaminate that color. I don't really care. Okay, we'll just make our brown a little bit lighter than it's supposed to be. And then I wanted to rub a little bit of pink I'll add it off a little bit. I want a little bit of pink in his ears, and I don't know if it'll go or not, but we'll try it. All right, let's see what we got. So when you pull it off, there is your, isn't that cool? It looks so messy. Did the pink come through? Oh, barely. You can, uh, yeah, you can barely see it, but I got a little bit of pink, not very much. And then my green grass, it, um, can you see the green grass? They're just a little teeny bit, so it dried out on me. Um, so if I had my hair dryer, I would dry this and show you guys what to do. But since I don't, I'll just tell you. So I would set this aside, 
see the grass at the bottom. I, I don't, I can't see what you guys are seeing. There you go. Yeah, you can see little bits of it, but there's actually more grass on the transfer than that. Um, maybe you can see from this back side, not a lot, but a little bit. And I really wanted that color. So I'm going to wash this off. Um, just use water. You don't need soap and all that, just water. Or you can use um, Clorox wipes and just wipe them down front and back. And then as soon as this is dry, I'll just lay it back down and I'll just do the green part and then pull it off and it'll be perfect. So there's my bunny, but for, for this purpose, he's good. I'll finish him up later. Um, so let me throw him over here. And then if you guys want to do this ever with it, you know, with us, just message me and we can do this together. So let's see how we're going to, so this is what the sign will be. It's just going to be my bunny. I really wanted that pink. I might go in with a little more pink as well. Um, once I, let's see, is that centered? Wow, well, I'll work on all that later too. <laughs> you guys get the idea? <laughs> Gonna pour you out of your minds. It's not that exciting, right? So, okay, now because I have the brown, but I love how it, um, how it variegated the color. So I'm gonna do that again. Um, I'm gonna do that here. So I'm just gonna put this down. And then I wanna put this established and then I could do a carrot. I do, I do see an orange, that would be cute, wouldn't it? Okay. Let's do, for now, let's do this. I might need to move this up just a little bit just to give me more room for a carrot. I'll move that up like that, just because I wish it had a little bit of color. I have some Easter eggs from old transfers um, from when we very first started doing this, but um, I'm not going to worry with that either. Okay, so let's get this brown part done. So I'm going to dip back into, I'm going to do all this the same. My only color will be on the... Oh, I know you chocolateur people that are watching me are like, oh, you're messing up your colors. I don't care. I don't care because they're like colors. Like if I, if I was dipping into red, I wouldn't do that in a million years. But <clears throat> since they're, they're going to stir in and just create maybe a different shade by a little bit, I don't really care. Again, I, this is, I'm not, I'm doing this for fun. <laughs> I'm doing it for me. So it doesn't matter. But I like to show you guys that you don't have to be perfect and do it by the book. You do it how you want it to be. Okay, so oh, did I miss? I might have missed a little spot right there. I'm not sure. Okay, so then you just lift it off. So let me show you when it peels off because that's always the best part. That's always the most fun part. Oh, you almost can't read that cream color, can you? I was afraid of that. Oh, you really can't. Okay, so here's what I have. You almost can't read it. I'm gonna have to dry it down and lay it. So, so, just like the bunny, after it dries, I mean, it's good, I just need to calm it down a little bit. I'll lay this right back over top and just do it again and do it better. Um, okay, so let's get on with the carrot. And I do have an orange right here. And I didn't really study this carrot, but it looks like it's got an overlay. So let's see if we can't figure that out. Oh, let me see. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to do this part of the carrot first. And because it has what, um, what in stenciling, and when we paint houses and we do a lot of stenciling, well, we used to, we don't anymore, but we used to do a lot of it. Um, this would be called registration marks. So the registration marks are these two dots so that when I when I take this transfer off and I put this one on top I can line up my two dots and I know where it goes okay so because this is not a wash offable surface like this would be um, this is wood so it's porous and thirsty I'm going to do my registration marks Let's see, that's not gonna work either, is it? Because when I lift this off, the whole thing's gonna move. Um, hmm, how can I do that? I thought I had it figured out, but I don't. Hang on a minute, let me, 
what can I do here? Okay, let, I got an idea. Let me get my tape out. I just have to, it's nice to be working right here with all my junk drawers around. Okay, so I'm going to tape this down. And it should stick to the tape, even if I put the paste on the tape. We'll see. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, I can't do it that big or I'll get into my carrot. Okay, let me do it over here, do it over here. Oh man, this is a trial and error. This might be an advanced. <laughs> this might be advanced. Okay, so I need to put my carrot where I can't see the paper. So he's gotta go on down a little bit. Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? This is interesting. Okay, so there's the carrot. I almost can't tell the paper from the board. Whoops, and I can see the paper through my carrot. So I've got my carrot. Maybe I wanna wonk my carrot. Just wonk it out a little bit, a little bit wonky there. Let's see. Okay, and I need to shove this paper a little bit over. Oh my gosh, you guys, I haven't even looked up to see if everybody's like, forget her, I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, okay. We're gonna go with it. I'm hoping it'll be good. Okay. Well, if I'd have cleaned all this stuff off, I could show you how to lay it back over, fix it up, but okay. what I do with the orange? Here it is. Okay. So let's put just that little bit of orange on my carrot. Stir it up a little bit. All right, so let's get the orange on here. I'm doing the whole thing orange. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of green on that stem. I'm getting down into my registration marks, so that'll help me when I go to line it up. I should have brought my hair dryer, but I didn't. Okay, all right. So I need to keep this down. Oh wait, I gotta do my green. So I'm just gonna do it with my finger because I don't need that much. I just need to cover the... Okay, all right. Oh gosh, I don't even have to do this second part. I wonder why they even have that on there. They must want you to make it white. That's the only thing I can think of. It doesn't really need it, does it? Let me show you. I <laughs> show you guys can't really see, but look, it looks fine. But I'll go ahead and do it the way they want you to do it, because they have they're the they're the ones that designed this, not me. So okay, while we're here, let's just clean these transfers up, and maybe I can go ahead and show you the whole the whole process. Like you guys don't have anything better to do today, right? Just sit and watch me play. <laughs> oh man, I'll try to hurry. I wasn't planning on getting into all this. I'm supposed to make my videos on my main page much a shorter percentage of, that's why we do them in the groups because the company doesn't really want you to do this. But I feel like they would want me to finish it for you, right? But I didn't expect it to be like this, so I apologize. Okay, so that is still wet. So I need to Clean this up just to show you guys how easy it, is. it really is easy okay and then flip it over and clean it and the main thing I'm trying to do is get it out of the screen part it doesn't matter if the rest of it's stained or whatever it does not matter at all you just want your screen part clean okay so we'll lay this down sticky side up to dry see here let me clean this up it's this rag it's wetter oh come on it's really stuck down okay come on there we go all right all right So I'm gonna lay it down, um, sticky side up. And then what I do with the bunny, I put him in the water. Let's see. I'm just gonna clean my bunny real fast. Okay, that's how 
halfway clean. All right, so let me finish cleaning him up. And then maybe I'll just show you guys the whole, whole process. Then when you see my picture at the top of my page, you'll be like, oh, I remember when she did that. If it even turns out like I think it might. Hoping for a good picture. I'm not a photographer, so I'm just <laughs> kind of winging it. All right, so here's my dry towel. Dry these off just a bit and get them started to dry. I wouldn't mind just doing it since I got it all out. Okay. Think you guys are gonna make those snacks? Do you think you'll try it? They're really, really good. Oh, poo, now I just messed that up. I shouldn't have done it. Should have just left it alone. Okay, so now everything is dry on the board. You see that? And, and it's all chalk, so I can just rub on it. My transfer is dry enough. All I have to do is line it back up. Should have just went the black and white, right? Then it would have been easy and done. So I know that I want to add more of the brown color. So I'm just going to add some browns in here and there. I still wanted that variegated look though. I just want to try to get it a little more brown than it was. Okay, oh, my hand is sticking to my transfer. All right. Now let's see. Oh yeah, that's better. Oh yeah, and it's still variegated, so good. Okay, let me throw this one in the sink. There's the difference. So the, there's the Cottontail Farms, and then you see my established, how it's really hard to read. So I just need to get my established a little better, making sure that it's not gonna be touching. Let's see, I can't even find it. Where's my dots? There's a dot, there's a dot. Yeah, it's not touching, so I can go ahead and do that. But whoops, it's a little too high. Looks like it's right there. Okay, let me dip into the brown. Let's go ahead and finish this. I didn't smash that down very good. I hope it's okay. Okay. Yeah, and I just made that one basically the brown. Um, okay, and then all we have left to do then is where's the second, here's the second half of my carrot. So, I'm gonna, whoop. I'm gonna look for my registration marks. Hopefully, oh gosh, they're so small. I don't know, let's see, where's my glasses? Do I have my glasses here? Hmm. Oh yeah, right here. All right, let me see here. I can see them. Oh my goodness, they're really small. Forget it, I can't see that. Well, yes I can, there's one right there. Okay, I hit one. Oh, and there's the other one. Yeah, got them. Okay, so if you see now, there's no orange inside of that. So um, I know that I've hit my marks and it's lined up perfectly. Now I'm not sure how well the white is gonna really show up. It might just look like it did before, but let's go for it. I don't wanna use any other color because typically I don't think there would be another color, really. Maybe a yellow, I don't know. Oh, I keep putting my hand on there. So all I'm gonna do is add the white here. Um, I think they're thinking, they're thinking for a uh, black chalkboard, you know, then the white would have really, really popped. So, okay, get scotch tape off of here. And there you go. Oh, it's adorable. You can see the white for sure. But on a black chalkboard, could you imagine how good that would look? That would look really, really good. Okay, so my idea was to put that like that and then put my bunny like, you know, like that. So it would be, they're gonna be together. Um, okay, so let me, let me see if I can't fix my bunny up here. Cause I, what was it? Oh, it's grass. The grass, I knew there was something about the bunny that I wasn't happy. Oh, great, I got a ladybug. Well, you can come, it's spring, you can come and join us. Just stay off of the cookies, right? <laughs> you guys have ladybugs? <laughs> I do. Okay, 
So I'm gonna lay this bunny back down, lining it up to where it was, or at least trying to. Trying to get it exactly how it was, because I wanna show you how I can get that grass in there. There we go. I really just need that bottom part. So again, I'm just gonna use my, oh, it's starting to dry. I shouldn't leave them open that long. Okay, I'm just gonna use my finger, and I just wanna rub that grass in underneath him. Okay, like that. There we go. Now let's see. Oh yeah, much better. So what happened was the silk screen is such a thin layer, and if it takes, if you if you do something like that, and then the, while I was taking the time to work on the bunny, it started to dry on me, and so it stuck to the silk screen instead of my board. So that is exactly what happened. But I went back and fixed it, and now look at all the green there is. So that's much better. So then I will just stick my sign on here. And then after the season, I can use my same sign, wash this off and change it and put something else. And then I'll put this bunny back on its backing, put it in the um, container and in its, in its plastic um, container and put it in my spring, in with my spring decor and I can use it again next year when I wanna use my bunny again. So then that way I'm not storing a bunch of decor. I just think it's really smart. Um, when you're like me and you have so many decorations, it just takes up so much room. So this way you use one chalkboard and um, for, for all year round. So it works out great. So anyway, let's see, that's all I have. <laughs> Put glasses on. That's all I have. So hopefully you guys can make some treats. Um, my Easter nests, oh yeah, they're still setting up. But this is what they look like. Um, again, it's just a half a cup of, um, was it a half a cup? I think it's a fourth a cup. Here's my recipe. Um, seven ounces of marshmallow cream, a fourth a cup of creamy peanut butter, um, half a bag of the, the chow mein noodles. It says five ounces. I, I go a little heavy on that. And then a cup of chopped M&Ms. And then you lay your three little um, Easter eggs in there, which is the peanut M&Ms. And you have little crispy Easter nests. So that's all I have. Have a great day, you guys. If you want to see more Chalk Couture, jump over to my group. It's called Tammy Loves Chalk, um, and it's spelled T-A-M-I. And I'll be happy to let you in there. Have a great day. Um, can you use paint? Um, you can really, really dry, Angela, really dry. It's not, a, it works like a stencil in that, you know, if this was a typical stencil, all of this would be hollow. Like it's all used bridges and stuff but the paint really is so liquid that it tends to really wanna bleed. These are sticky if you use brand new fresh ones, um, and depending on your surface, you may not get that bleed, but really this company has ink and it has, um, it has paste, chalk paste, and you really use that um, as, your, as your actual paint. But if you do it really dry, um, I have seen where it works, but I wouldn't recommend it on like, like on a burlap sign or a fabric covered sign. I'm getting ready to do some really beautiful um, signs from the company. I'm excited about them. I sh I, just in case you don't jump over, let me show you. I got my stuff all laid out. Um, whoops, I just dropped some, but I love these boards. But these are more fabric, so they're not gonna be as usable. Um, but see, it's, you can hear it, it's fabric but they're really great. Um, and I wanted, this one was like under $20. It's pretty big um, with my discount. Now, if you, um, if you sign up to be in the group, you get the, in the club, you get a discount, um, but otherwise um, you can retail. I think it's around $20, $19.99, something like that. So anyway, I'll talk to you later. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks, Kathy. Bye.